What's going on, folks? It's your man, Jay, and it's time to talk about the top five reasons you should probably think about buying the Alcatel 3V. So the first thing on the list is this beautiful, beautiful display. This phone is has a 6.7-inch display. Now, it's 1440 by 720, but reality is you won't be able to tell the difference. Uh, unless you're watching a whole bunch of things uh, on YouTube, that's when you'll get that 720p resolution thing. But if you're just watching content on the device, you will be impressed with this phone right here. I mean, it's a huge 6.7 inch display and it's actually really, really good. I mean, resolutions on displays, techies get caught up in that, but I think most people probably don't care. Uh, but just watching content on it, playing games on it, just doing everything, just looking at media on it, period. Netflix is a real boss on here too. Uh, but just overall, the experience with the screen is absolutely fantastic. Now, the next thing is the battery life. Now, I've been using this straight through on the last charge, and it hasn't been charged in nine days. And it's at uh, 13%. Uh, and it's at about almost five hours of screen on time. So before you shake a leg at that and say, oh, Jay, you weren't really using it. Yes, I have been using it. Uh, this just isn't a main driver. So some key things to point out here about this phone getting five hours of screen on time uh, with nine days of use, uh, nearly 10 just about. If you're in a situation where you don't have a charger or you forgot your charger for the weekend, weekend warrior, this for sure can go a full weekend. And I think it has something to do with the processor coupled with the display, uh, but more importantly, the phone can go at least seven days. Now, some people don't use their phone that much. They don't They don't even get five hours of screen on time. I know people that their phones last them over a week because they're, they only use it for the critical things they need. Like they, they use it just for phone calls or they're not, this isn't like they're, they have a home phone or just whatever. Um, some people just are not into, most consumers that I, some consumers I've spoken to, Cell phones are at the bottom of the list. They need it for what it needs to be used for, which is phone calls. They can also communicate with their family uh, and things like that. Just they get on it when they need to get on it and then they get off of it. They put it down and get back to a regular lifestyle, which doesn't include being on your phone all the time. So with that being said, this battery is the truth. Now, this isn't the first phone that can go nine, 10 days on uh, in and out of standby. Uh, but the fact that this phone has some things that other phones don't, uh, it's pretty impressive battery life. Now, uh, the next thing on the list is the speakers. The speakers on this thing, it's just, it's a, it's a pocket-friendly phone with stereo speakers. You cannot beat this, folks. I mean, the quality that comes from this thing is absolutely great. And I've tested it in other videos, and I've, I've shown it to you online. It's just a fantastic set of speakers, and there's just no getting around it. For what's packed in this phone, these speakers, and, and, and I'm just trying to list top five, there are a ton of other reasons to pick up this phone, uh, but the speakers are definitely one. Now, I tested out the uh, camera, so the rear camera is actually the fourth thing on the list that I put down. Uh, uh, the rear, uh, and the reason I said the rear camera, some of you guys might prefer the front camera. Actually, some of you guys in the comments did prefer the front camera, uh, but I personally prefer the rear camera. I think the portrait shots, just photos on the rear camera, it punches way above its weight class in, for the phones that it's going against. I'm not saying it's the best, but this package right here is great. And it does have a good front uh, front camera as well. I just prefer the rear camera. And I have no problem taking a photo like this, getting myself in view, uh, and then, you know, looking at it after to make any adjustments or having another person take the photo. It has portrait mode on the front and the rear, and it's really impressive, man. So the last reason I would tell you to probably get this phone is probably the price. It's actually $189 at full cost. But most people are getting it free with a port in or they're getting it for like 30 bucks for adding a line. Uh, it is just great. Uh, I mean, besides the fact the phone has a headphone jack and, you know, it's type C, it's there's a lot to like about this phone right here. I think Ocotel is trying to take over a certain market, which is that mid-tier, low to mid-tier, getting into mid-tier, I guess. Uh, and they're doing a fantastic job. This is, in fact, a great phone to purchase in that price range. You will be extremely impressed with the battery life on this thing. It is incredible. The speakers are loud because it runs that, you know, earpiece and then the one on the bottom fire. But I'm telling you, folks, I have been extremely impressed with this device right here. And those are my top five for you. I mean, there's, again, there's tons of other reasons why a person might say that it's great. I mean, it has a flat display. 
I mean, that's just another thing, you know, as a headphone jack. You know, it even has an IR blaster up there, I think it is. But uh, nonetheless, this is a great phone, and I think you guys should really consider it. One downfall is that it's on Metro only, from what I can tell right now. It's just on Metro. I think, but eventually it'll get to T-Mobile, and then, uh, you know, you'll be able to unlock it or whatever. The unlock models probably will come out. Uh, but the phone is great, man. At the recording of this video, it's only on Metro, I understand. The Alcatel 3V, the 2019 6.7 inch display, it's the truth, man. I wouldn't lie to you. It's your man Jay. Hope you guys enjoyed. Top five for the Alcatel 3V. Take care.